In this brief presentation, we'll demonstrate the welcome screen to you and show you how to create a new project within Factory Studio. Let's get started. You can tell right from the start you're using a modern software package from the design of the welcome screen, from the way the projects to which you have access are displayed to the way you manage the projects, you'll see this is a very easy product to use. You see this very modern interface, very graphically oriented interface. It helps you find the projects that you might want to open. Once you get to a project that you want to work with, you just click on it, like so, and there's immediately a lot of information about the project available to you. Click on this button to find out information about what version of the project it is, how many builds there have been, where the project is located. But there's all that information available for all the projects here. If you simply change to the card view, this will help you find out more information about your projects that you might be looking for. Finally, the table view presents the same information just in a tabular format. So let's go back to the 3D view. Using the projects option, you're able to create a new project, open an existing project, or find a project that may have been moved to a new location. To create a new project, click on the new project button. Here you specify the name and description of the project along with its location. Other parameters include the desired product family and model for the user environment and default resolution. When you have this completed, press the back button to return to the welcome screen. Using the server option, you specify information about the server from which you will be choosing projects to work with. To run projects off your local computer, you leave localhost selected. To run a project off a remote computer, you simply click on remote and then specify the IP and virtual path if needed. To access projects off of a cloud server like www.engineeringonthecloud, you click on cloud and then enter your account information and password. So many software packages make it difficult for you to find license information. Not with Factory Studio, we make it very simple. Clicking on the license button tells you all about the license that you have. The serial number, the product family and model, what version it's currently licensed for, if it's an engineering or runtime only. The site code. The site code file is something that you use to register your, your license. To load the license and then to refresh all the information. You can see on my computer I have four users for engineering so that means I can have four people simultaneously engineering the project. Runtime clients. I have four web clients, four rich clients, and four iOS clients. Those can be iPads and iPhones. Thank you for taking a quick look at the Factory Studio welcome screen. For more information, please visit us at www.tatsoft.com and look for other Tatsoft videos online. Thank you.